Today, I'd like to present a case for your consideration. We have a 46-year-old gentleman who presented to the hospital with fever, productive cough accompanied by a yellowish sputum and chest pain. Upon reviewing his chest x-ray, we observed dense consolidation in the left lower lobe. Furthermore, the gram stain of his sputum revealed the presence of gram-positive diplococciae. Let's delve deeper into the diagnosis. A 46-year-old febrile man presents with symptoms suggestive of a respiratory infection. These symptoms include fever, cough with yellowish sputum, and chest pain. Fever and productive cough are common symptoms of pneumonia, indicating an infection of the lungs. Chest x-ray findings reveals dense consolidation in the left lower lobe of the lung. Consolidation refers to the filling of air spaces in the lungs with fluid pus, blood, or other substances, leading to increased density on imaging. In the context of pneumonia, consolidation indicates inflammation and infection of lung tissue. Gram staining of the patient's sputum reveals the presence of gram-positive diplococciae. This staining characteristic suggests the presence of streptococcus pneumonia, the most common bacterial cause of community-acquired pneumonia. So, what do you think about all these indications? The clinical presentation of fever, cough, chest pain, along with radiographic, and microbiological findings, chest x-ray showing consolidation. Speedum gram stain revealing gram-positive diplococcia collectively point towards a diagnosis of pneumococcal pneumonia. While pneumococcal pneumonia is the most likely diagnosis based on the clinical presentation and test results, other causes of pneumonia should also be considered, including other bacterial pathogens such as Haemophilus, Influenzae, Staphylococcus aureus, and atypical organisms such as Mycoplasma pneumonia. In summary, the diagnosis of pneumococcal pneumonia in this patient is supported by the constellation of clinical symptoms, radiographic findings, and microbiological evidence pointing towards streptococcus pneumonia as the causative agent. However, it's essential to consider other potential causes of pneumonia.